Fans dancing to reggae music in remembrance of the man credited for popularizing reggae music the world over. Robert Nesta Mali, popularly called Bob Mali's life was cut short when he died at 36. He died 40 years ago but remains an everyday presence in the lives of millions of people around the world through music and his lyrics. Reggae music to me is a for unity, it's a for love, it's a symbol of peace. So I know reggae music is a culture, a culture of a black man. We always come together. So whenever we are together, we feel love, we feel happiness, we feel secure. On the Bob Marley Day, celebrated across the globe on May 11th, fans and reggae artists also converged at Old Town Bamenda, exhibiting their talents and mimicking Bob Marley's songs. Some fans described the late reggae maestro as an inspirational singer who believed in unity and love. But the Rastafari culture he promoted has been linked to with smoking and criminality. This claim is debunked by reggae artist Katozak, who says they are Rastas, not rascals. Reggae is the media of communicating with the people. You communicate with the people through reggae, so you give out the message to among those who gathered to celebrate the Bob Marley Day was Peter Cheney, mayor of Bamenda II. In Pigeon English, Mayor Peter Cheney declares the council's readiness to support actions that bring the population together. We look for Mali, so we sing them. Every single for peace, unity for love. You see, we say one love, one love. One so we need to be at peace, we need to be peace, we need to love one another. We're supposed to celebrate. We don't stay alone, we don't enjoy some love. So now then we're going to enjoy it, support it after feeling them. The Bamali Remembrance Day has been an annual event at the Old Town Bamenda. This festival seems to be the only still taking place within the context of an armed conflict, and many are wondering could Old Town Bamenda be showing the example?